listening, and this is the first time I'm hearing, hearing of you. When you were a younger, there was a piece on morality, there was kindness, there was love in the community. And that's part about the neighborhood art center. You mentioned that the kids, if they didn't go to school, they came to the center. All right? What happened to that? What happened to that emotion? What happened to that feeling? What happened to that caring? Here in general? In, Atlanta, in general. Or how do we bring that back? I think it has some, and it's just my opinion, some, something to do with monetary, with money, okay? And that, that, is, um, that, is, that is a shame because we're still the richest country in the world, regardless of who we owe. And I say that to say that we owe our children. And if we don't look at our children as being the seminal imperative for us getting, getting that love back, that will bring back Max and Neighbor Arts Center and the other art centers. Um, Kasim Reed, I, I think, has gone a long way in helping me restore my faith in, in what he did in bringing back the recreation centers. You know, I think he has a, a vision there. It's unusual, and I met him here for the first time, and I, I didn't. He was going through, and I didn't really. I wanted to say more than I had said, because as you know, I can't talk. But uh, I wanted to tell him, congratulate him on being one of the people that really sees what the children need, what the community needs. We need places for the kids. And he he opened up those recreation centers. I think they're all open now, if I'm not mistaken. All of them are not, no. Or He's still working on them. Half of them are. Half I think he just got a million dollars from Coca-Cola mm -hmm. for the centers. Well, uh, my hat's off to him. Well, you'll get a chance. So I'll make sure he'll, get to, he'll see that. Oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely. That's great. I guess the other one is they just started a common core. Uh, the $400 million at stake received in education. And they are basing the, the teacher's pay on how the child evolves in class, all right, how they learn. But if they're taking out recreation, they're taking out art, what will the child learn? Not much. What does a child miss in terms of his growing up by not having the arts in school? Tremendous amount because that that uh, that art helps to fortify their confidence in themselves and in what they produce on a spiritual and, and on a creative level. And when you take that building block out, you're taking one of the legs of the table. Yeah, the table may be able to stand on three legs for a while, but the first weight a significant challenge that comes along the table is going to topple. And I, I think that until we really stop looking at the arts as um, something that's frivolous and uh, extraneous, we're going to have problems. We're going to have problems. I mean, I don't know of a society in world history that didn't flourish not in spite of the arts, but because of the arts. That's why the civilizations and their, their messages have been passed down to us through the arts. So what, are we, what will we be passing down? Bank balances and stock holdings and what else? Yeah, I guess the other one would be what does the art do for the soul? It heals the soul. It heals it on so many levels. Um, when uh, we talk about uh, being created in the image of God, I think 
literally the arms and hands and legs and head, I think, is, and the torso is all part of that Godhead. And once we eliminate uh, a part of that Godhead, then we're, we've polluted the Godhead. We have polluted what our full potentials are, spiritual potentials, and we become, we become renegades in a so-called uh, supposedly civilized society uh, that has no, no respecters of the humanities, no respecter of the visual arts, that we, we produce inane, uh, pathological people mm. who uh, backbalances the only thing that uh, they respond favorably to and their patriotism is built not on um, not on the beauty of the culture but uh, the power and uh, influence uh, I think we're losing we're losing when we um, just look at the arts as being something that uh, can be put on hold does the individual lose independence and creativity in all aspects of life when art is taken out? Absolutely. Absolutely. I can't think of a pursuit in life, even if you're going to be a banker, if you're going to be a Wall Street trader, the stimulation of the imagination with the help of the arts has gotten a lot of those folks very wealthy. Who would imagine that a credit default swap came out of the imaginings of a Wall Streeter? In other words, you produce a product that is totally totally fruitile, subprime loan, and you know that it's a bogus financial instrument, but you, you nevertheless you go forward with it and then you have the audacity, the audacity to bet on those who will pay and those who won't pay, and that's what a credit default swap is. It's like, it's like the neighborhood bookie betting against you being able to pay him. <laughs> now what is it going to take for us to bring you in the community where you can be able to teach this to you so they can understand what's going on? I'm here. I, I want to do more outreach. I've done several outreaches with the um, Job Corps. I've uh, done some with the uh, neighborhood uh, youth. I want to get into the school system really start talking to these children that really need some nurturing. You know, it's almost like saying, they were saying that you got the guys out there on the, on the corner selling dope. You can take them same guys, take them to your class, and look what you can make out of them. Because the only thing they need is a change of venue. <laughs> they sure can. They're phenomenal businessmen, and I don't care what they're selling. I do care. Of course I care about what they're selling. But as you said, they could, they could be um, equal to any entrepreneur to give them the proper tools, give them the proper product. But I don't think we give them this jail cell. We give them that. And then we give them, we give them, we, we don't even, um, we don't even use uh, the penal system. We use uh, corporations, to privatize corporations to keep them locked up. Just new slavery. Yeah. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll leave on that note. It was <laughs> nice meeting you, sir. It was beautiful meeting you both. We'll be talking.